Hey guys, today I am back with my new tutorial. Today I will be uh, demonstrating you the brake pad analysis with the static uh, thermal analysis of a brake uh, pad. And uh, for that I have to select static steady uh, state uh, thermal. And uh, uh, first of all I want to use the material. I want to change the material for that. Uh, for that I want to go to general materials and from here I will select the stainless steel ok so click plus click add on stainless steel and go to filter data so here is stainless steel it is added double time so I can delete one so you can see stainless steel is there ok now I will be importing the geometry import geometry and from the desktop here is the geometry now I will be opening the uh, mechanical software offenses so ANSYS mechanical is now open here is our brake pad assembly so first of all I will be matching it with default match condition generate match ok will take some time so we that's why it is done now the meshing is done with default conditions so adding first of all we will add temperature uh, convection and uh, afterward we will be adding convection details so first of all adding the temperature detail I will add these faces from inside these all faces from inside uh, let me select the body okay like that okay selecting these bodies okay now uh, apply and the temperature is uh, about uh, the friction temperature is about 350 degrees celsius okay now convection so adding Uh, selecting control A all bodies and excluding all these bodies like this ok uh, between uh, them like this ok yes and click apply and uh, we will use the uh, temperature dependent conditions so we will be adding stagnant air simplified case ok now uh, before going further we will add the material constraint also like this so adding stainless steel ok now we will be uh, in the results we will add temperature and our heat flux total heat flux you can add directional also so our uh, boundary condition and constraints are now done we will just uh, add uh, solution ok so solve click on solve so our analysis is now done we can simulate it like this so you can see that uh, this is very hot and it is dissipating its heat into its atmosphere. Thank you. And I will be with my new tutorial afterwards.